So, um, there could be somebody here that may want to reveal their feelings for somebody else. Um, they feel like you could be there happily ever after, or you are feeling this way about somebody else. Um, uh, maybe they feel like they need love, or maybe you need love. Um, but somebody could have made excuses, um, as to why something wouldn't work out, or why something just... <clears throat> <sighs> somebody could have made excuses, but they feel like they need love, or somebody could have felt like something was an excuse to get out of letting somebody love them, or, um, you know, or loving somebody else, but somebody views you as far and few between, like, few and far in between, and they want to sustain their efforts to make something work. All right, so let's see what we have here so far. So we have consume here in the reverse with the vulture here. Something could be dead or something is devouring the dead. This involves a family. So somebody could have tried to devour an entire family. And balance needs to be restored in a situation. Um, so we have Libra energy here. And we have the Capricorn with the deal here. And let's see what sign is that. It's hard to see what that is. Um, and then Virgo. So there's a Virgo here with the kindness. So we have someone who made a deal to consume or devour like a family unit here. <clears throat> so you may have a hard time accepting love or dealing with love or uh, maybe expressing love. But balance is going to be restored and somebody sees you as kind or you view someone else as being kind. There's big changes coming. There's a rebirth here. So there's big changes coming for somebody, possibly regarding a family unit or somebody, um, you know, maybe um, just uh, your status, you know, where you check the box, single, married, divorced, whatever. Somebody could want to change your status from single to married or in a relationship or shit. I, I feel like at this point, someone may even settle for it. It's complicated. <laughs> somebody was an energy drainer. <clears throat> So we have a somebody who wants to love you, who wants to be, um, you know, a partner, have a future with you. And then we had somebody, um, a karmic, possibly from your past, or somebody who's still doing some shady shit, you know. We'll find out the more we get in here. But somebody tried to ruin your family, so you suffered a lot of pain or possibly trauma, something like that. And um, so you may have a hard time trusting people, which is to be expected after, um, you know, you've been through the ringer with some things. But somebody wants to share their feelings with you, and they're hoping that you feel the same way. We have an air sign in the reverse here, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So that could have been somebody who is trying to destroy your family. Um, a low vibrational, you know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, just because the signs come out doesn't mean that all signs are like that, so keep that in mind. So just because you see your sign and it's in the reverse, don't go uh, getting all pissy about it. In the very beginning, I say flip the signs and rules as needed. Okay. Somebody wants you to open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. <clears throat> but you may need to let go of something. Uh, make room for a new beginning that's on your way. And then we have, you will be traveling soon. So um, somebody needs to let go of having you restricted or stop you from traveling or moving forward. This could also be you that needs to let go of something. Um, you could be holding yourself back, you know, self-imposed restrictions. Um, or you may be limited on traveling. So maybe it's hard for you to let something go because someone from your past or someone is still actively trying to prevent you from being able to let go of shit so you can move forward. And then we have a fire sign in the upright, Aries, Leo, Sag. So um, you could be the fire sign um, that wants to love another person, or um, this could be um, somebody who they want to love, you know, or make a move with or have a future with. Let's get in here and see. So somebody didn't have a positive outcome. The person who was... The karmic energy here who is trying to destroy somebody's family. Um, you know, they made a bad business deal. Um, they were trying to work to devour something or cause a permanent ending. Um, that's being done. That's over with. Um, 
but somebody refuses to let something go. They don't want you to be able to move forward or experience love. And you know what? They had their time to do their shady shit, and it's over. And this has somebody in despair. There's a witchy energy here who's in despair. And then there's a masculine energy in the reverse who is a coward. Not just a coward, but a tyrant. Um, you know, pain in the ass. Somebody who just tried to keep you stuck. But you're moving up towards um, a positive outcome. You're moving towards a positive outcome. Things are moving for you. Um, and you are going to have your wishes fulfilled. This is a wish fulfillment. Um, you know, somebody sees you as a shooting star, or you see yourself as a shooting star, or you could be seeing somebody else as a shooting star, and they want to have a future with you. There's a witchy energy here who was spying, and they found out something that has them scared. So they were spying, monitoring you, um, or somebody that you want to be with, and they're scared about something. They're scared about an outcome. And this just flipped out in my lap, because luck is on your side. You're moving towards luck. And this person has a heart-shaped cookie, so you could be um, lucky in love, or moving towards some sort of luck, or somebody wants to try their luck with you in a relationship. I'm, I'm seeing that somebody wants to change their status, or change your status, or both. Somebody wants to be in a committed relationship with somebody. <laughs> Even if it's complicated, they want to sustain the efforts. They want to, they're in this to, for the long haul, whoever this is for. Something is being brought to light or eliminated about this tyrant, this masculine energy, this emperor energy in the reverse. Someone is receiving some sort of message. Um, some sort of communication here. Uh, somebody did not have a positive outcome. This, someone who tried to betray you. This is the Ace of Swords in the reverse energy. This is a no for them. This is not a victory for someone who betrayed you. <clears throat> so somebody could be getting a message of concern that um, they didn't have a positive outcome. And that someone is seeing through the illusion. And this has them scared. They wanted to have you sad and depressed, but whatever they did to you, the secrets are being revealed. Someone sees you as their wish fulfillment. This is the moon card. This has Scorpio energy on it. <clears throat> so ending, rebirth, you know, um, going possibly towards your divine counterpart. Somebody sees you as their wish fulfillment. Someone is wishing upon a star for you, and they see you as a shooting star. And this has somebody sad because they wanted you to be too sad to be in a relationship with anybody. hearing you're breaking my heart come along somebody wants to partner up with you really bad like someone sees you as a shooting star and you may have lovey feelings towards this person because this is like king or queen of cups energy here those hearts on that belly and then a shooting star here so someone could be a divine star and someone could be you know full of love you know they want to give you their love you know this person wants to be loyal to you and this has that witchy energy and despair. They were trying to stop you from transitioning, from going through a transformation from empress to high priestess. This person was trying to stop a transformation from happening. And they're sad they couldn't stop this. They were trying to stop things from changing because they like you um, when you're tucked away, locked away, and no one knows who you are. And they can just keep abusing you over and over again, you know? Because that's what they do in their pastime. They need to get a new goddamn hobby. They need to get a job or find a life or something. They need to worry about what they're doing and not what you're doing once again someone sees you as a star wish fulfillment and this person you were connected to so this witchy energy that's betrayed you in some way you were partnered up with them at some time and they celebrated with a group of having some sort of victory over you in the past <clears throat> At some point, they had a whole group of people trying to ruin your day, piss on your cloud. Um, you know, they just wanted you to be rainy, sad, depressed, gloomy. And that's how these people are going to be because they wanted to ruin something for you. And they celebrated having a victory over you. It's like, okay, we got them backed into a corner. They're going to be sad. They're going to be depressed. They're not going to take care of themselves. They're not going to find love. They're not going to find anyone who's going to give a shit about them. They're just going to disappear off the face of the earth and no one's going to give a shit. Wrong, motherfucker! Not in my cards. <laughs> Not today. Yep, someone will stop dead in their tracks. 
There's a karmic energy who was stopped. They had their hand out. They're being stopped. This is this shit is bullshit. They tried to do some real slick shit, and they're being stopped dead in their tracks. They can't be trusted. You knew they can't. You knew they couldn't be trusted. Never trust a smiling cat. This person couldn't be trusted. This person may not take care of themselves. You know, I'm in a bad. I might as well exercise. I'm in a bad mood anyway. They wanted to upset you, stop you from exercising. Um, so when you were partnered up with this person, like if you wanted to go work out, something like that, this person would try to stop you. They would push sweets and junk food on you. It's like, oh, whatever baby wants, baby gets. But they were trying to intentionally cause you harm to your health. They were trying to like fatten you up, give you high cholesterol, make your sh blood sugar spike, like crazy shit like that. They want you to be sad, depressed, sleeping, because that's how they are. Oh, smile, it confuses people. So they were trying to confuse you by making it look like they were just, and this is that karmic energy that whoever this is that's trying to screw you over, you could be with this person. Like I said, this is past, present, or future. You could still be with this numb skull, okay? Um, this other person who wants to be with you could be the future, okay? It just depends on what timeline you're on. We're not all on the same timeline, all right? But someone loves your booty, and they want a piece of that booty, and they want to take care of that booty. Um, you may have plumped up a little bit and it's gone to all the right places. So someone's been noticing that little booty. Okay. <laughs> You've been showing your ass a little bit, getting fit, you know, um, just say it. But somebody was trying to confuse you by trying to make it look like they were wanting to take care of you, that they were trying to spoil you. Like, no, you don't need to work out. Just come cuddle with me on the couch. We can watch a movie or here, have another drink. Um, Let's just, you know, do this or do that. Like, anything to distract you and keep you from taking care of yourself. You know, normally when you're with somebody, they want you to take care of yourself. They want you to be happy. Like, um, okay, so say you have, like, a Wii Fit or something like that. Um, maybe you do, like, um, oh, God, what is that? Dance, uh, I'm here Dance Dance Revolution or something like that. Uh, but you could do, like, something like that. Like, those dancing games or those exercise video games. Something in your home. Like, something simple. Maybe you have a yoga ball. Whatever. So maybe, like, as soon as you start doing that, you're, this person will come along and be like, Hey, no, baby, just come over here. I, I haven't seen you all day. Come spend time with me. And it's like, dude, I've been at work all day. Like, I need, you know, I've been sitting on my ass. I need to get some movement. And But this person was trying to purpose. And then they're like, hey, well... How about you make a lovely dessert? You, you know, you make the best sweets. And you know damn well if you, you make a cake, you're going to sit there and eat the whole fucking thing. I'm <laughs> just saying. <laughs> like, they made it seem like they were like, oh, whatever, baby wants, like, let me take care of you. But they were trying to sabotage you every step of the way. No, you don't need water. Here, pour another drink. Let's have a drink together. Let's do this. Let's go out and smoke another cigarette together, you know? Oh, let's go chain smoke out on the back patio. I mean, uh... But they tried to make it look like they were doing something out of love, but it was meant to sabotage you. And, like, whoever this person is that you were with, that you are with, whatever, they don't want what's best for you. They just want to be better than you. They want to be in better health than you. They want to outlive you. They just want you for something. They have their hand out. So they're expecting to get something from this by having your hand, their hand out. And someone is losing their shit because they could see somebody running towards you or you running towards somebody else. Someone is like, oh, wait, shit, that was not supposed to happen. They weren't supposed to run away from me and run towards somebody else. They were supposed to stay with me and just let me, like, mentally, physically, emotionally, like, abuse the shit out of them so I can take whatever they have. <sighs> they didn't want things to change. They were comfortable sitting on their ass and suckling off of your teat whether you're a man or a woman it doesn't matter we all have teats unless there was some freak accident you're going to be celebrating because somebody does want to protect you and they do want what's best for you this is somebody who sees you as their wish fulfillment you're going to be happy with this person because they're not going to try to sabotage you they want what's best for you Yes, you. And you may be surprised at who this is. You may be surprised to find out who's checking out that booty. Um, 
I feel like you don't know who it is. It may be a pleasant surprise. You don't know. You never know who's watching you. Shit, it could be a celebrity. If you have a platform or something, you know, someone wants to keep you trapped in a negative, shitty situation because they're sad and depressed. They want you to be, you know, misery loves company. They want you sad and depressed with them so they can just mooch off you, leech off you, keep their hand out. You know, Monday could be significant as well. Something significant is going to um, happen on a Monday for a karmic and they're not going to be happy about it. Someone's going to get called a liar right to their face. The bottomless pit. So this is in the upright. So this could be now or near future. I mean, this could be future energy. Someone who's been admiring you is going to stand up and call this mofo, this bottomless, greedy-ass, gold digger piece of shit, whether it's man or woman. This is king or queen of pentacles energy. Even though it's in the upright, this is this because they're greedy. This is actually the energy of them being in the reverse. That's why it pays to be an intuitive reader, and that's why I don't give a shit about people's opinions on how I read my cards, because you can read whatever you want on your own channel, but I know how to read my own. So, let's keep that in mind, alright? Yeah, keep your own attitude, I have my own. So this person was pissed off. They tried to rile you up, have you upset, stress you out. They wanted to keep your blood pressure raised. I mean, it's like this person was intentionally trying to cause you harm. It's like they wanted to like an act of god or an act of nature or something to take you out and they were purposefully trying to do this shit so they they could be like oh well they were just in bad health you could have receipts you can have health documentation you could have been to the doctor recently and you have documents that you were like could have been in perfect health this mofo is trying to hurt you affect your health and make it look like it's always been that way but your doctor has records of all this shit. If you go from being in perfect health all of a sudden to have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, your sugar is high all of a sudden, why the fuck do you think that is? Because the motherfucker's trying to do this shit intentionally to cause you permanent health damage. There's something working behind the scenes here. Think about it. Why would this person be doing this? It's not an act of love to put someone in bad health. Keep that shit in mind. That is my cup of love, cup of wisdom to you. If someone loves you, they're not going to try to do shit to put you in bad health. They're, this person, if somebody loves you, you should be motivating each other to be healthy together, to have a long life together. Not, I mean, and do you see this motherfucker eating this shit that they're pushing down your throat? Ask yourself that question. Is this motherfucker that's having you eat all these sweets and trying to fatten you up and do all this shit, are they partaking in that? I mean... Oh, someone's freaking out because somebody is goo goo for gaga over you. <clears throat> you couldn't celebrate with somebody in the past. The, somebody celebrated eat, sleep, and dance. They didn't want you to dance. They just wanted you to eat, sleep, be lazy, um, unmotivated. They didn't want that for you. So they could have purposefully tried to isolate you to get you away from everybody so you'd be pr depressed, down. Um, so maybe... <clears throat> Okay, so say you have like a history of like depression, anxiety, something like that. Maybe at one time, maybe like when you were in high school, you know, maybe when you were younger, you had to be on medicine for that shit. Well, if you're a healer or, you know, you just have coping mechanisms, maybe you haven't had to be on medication for so long. This motherfucker right here is trying to purposefully cause you to regress and go back to that old shit. But you can't go back to that old shit. Can I get an amen? Because you've already leveled up. Okay, but they didn't realize that. They didn't want things to change. They didn't want to admit that you're beyond um, their level because they would have to go to the doctor and get medicine. And I'm not saying don't even twist my goddamn words right now. Don't even. I'm not saying if you need medicine, don't get it. I have ADHD. I should be medicated. I've been off my medicine for months. And I'm not going into why. That's nobody's fucking business. But it's... First of all, they didn't have it at the pharmacy. This, that, and the other. And then... Yeah, I had other people tampering with the insurance I had, and I ended up losing health insurance and all this because people wanted to fuck with my shit. Leave me the fuck alone! My shit would help me with my memory. I actually need my medication. I had been on it for years. And especially now, with the memory problems I have, that would be fucking helpful. But no, nobody wants me to go see a neurologist so I can get my scan, you know, scans to see what the fuck happened to me after being strangled by this goddamn motherfucker ex that I had. No! But somebody wanted you in bad health. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with getting medicine that you actually need. Okay. 
but you don't need this medicine, whatever this is, like for anxiety or depression, whatever this is. Someone is trying to purposefully make you regress. And maybe you're going to need it after dealing with this motherfucker. I don't know. I'm not saying if you need something, don't go get it. I'm trying to say that this person is intentionally trying to make you act like, make it seem like you need counseling, like you need therapy, like you're depressed, like you're anxious. They want you to go do this because they're setting you up for something bigger here. You, are you Are you with me here? You know how many readings I've done with somebody being in a relationship to take them out and steal their shit? There's a reason this person is setting you up to make it look like you're um, anxious, you're depressed, you're not eating well, you're in bad health. There's a reason for all this shit, okay? So think about the bigger picture here, all right? You could be healing from heartbreak or addiction here. There's an addiction here. Um, so you have an addiction to sweets, okay? Maybe when you get stressed out, you eat. Or maybe you have the opposite. Maybe when you get stressed out, you don't eat. So maybe this person's trying to stress you out so you lose a lot of weight and you look like a crackhead. Or they're trying to get you to overeat, overindulge, so you gain like 20 pounds and then you end up diabetic or some shit. This person is trying to trigger memories. Someone is trying to trigger memories that you have healed from. This King of Pentacles, gold digging ass motherfucker, is trying to stick another sword in your back while you're just trying to rest, relax, just live your fucking life. And this motherfucker is trying to reopen old wounds, old traumas, bring back old memories. I mean, this person has studied you, and there's a reason for it. It's because they're a gold digger and they're trying to get something from you. Think about the long-term game here. Think about what someone's trying to get from you. Think of why this person is doing this shit. Someone is being set up. I'm telling you. Pay attention. Some of, some of us readers know what we're talking about here. And that's because they're trying to cover up the illegal activities, my dear. Okay? They're trying to cover up... Possibly that they put something in your food or drink. If they can put you in bad health, make you look unstable, then it looks like an act of nature, not that they tried to do something to you. <clears throat> they were gaslighting the fuck out of you. Trying to make it look like you were doing this to yourself. Meanwhile, they were trying to manipulate you intentionally. They even had a law officials and cops in on this too, making it like if you ever called the police, if there was ever like a domestic dispute or anything like this, <clears throat> you know how narcissists work, right? Okay, so this is the kind of person that will trigger you to react, play off your emotions. So if they, they're using like my manipulation, mental manipulation, if this person is abusive, they will try to trigger you to get you to react. Once you react, they are the victim. Hear what I'm saying here? Someone's trying to be set, someone's trying to set you up. They could have hidden cameras, whatever. They're trying to antagonize you. That's because this motherfucker's a gold digger. I'm telling you. They feel like they were being guided by their ancestors. They pray to their ancestors. They light candles. They do voodoo, hoodoo. They're doing something shady ass. This person is doing some shady ass dark magic here. And I'm not going to get into that aspect of it because I don't know what all they, they fucking do. But... This person does something specific to their ancestors or for their ancestors because they think it's bringing them money. That's how this person has made money or they think that they're going to get money from you. They're praying to these ancestors for them to take your ass out to help them get away with this fucking crime so they can be rich. Um, hello. <sighs> Don't miss the point here. This person was guilty as fuck. Of being a gold digger. And then they tried to gaslight you to make it look like everything was all in your head. Sorry I didn't pick up my phone. Why didn't they pick up their phone? Because they were full of air. They were... They're a bag of full... They're not... They, there's no substance to this person. They didn't pick up their phone because they never really loved you. They're cheating on you. Um, and they could be working with somebody else to do the shit to you. They got hoes in different area codes. They're busy multitasking, that's why. I'm telling you. <clears throat> they hacked your accounts. They're busy. They're not picking up the phone because they're hacking your accounts, spying on you, watching you, monitoring every move you make. They're still trying to get away with this. This shit is in the upright. <clears throat> they're still multitasking and doing this shit. And you may have told this person you don't want to see them anymore. And this caused them anxiety. 
someone is anxious, um, you may have told them you can't see them. Or they ghosted you, and it's another way of them for... It's another way for them to try to cause you anxiety. So you would go, this person could have tried to get you um, to like go to therapy or something, tell you you need to go um, to a counselor or something like that. This person needed to heal their own childhood wounds, but they were trying to make you seem like you didn't heal yours, and you already did. Someone fell for the trap, or they're trying to get you to fall for the trap. They're trying to make sure you fall for whatever trap they're setting for you. Don't do it, okay? These motherfuckers owe you money. They're trying to set you up for a trap because they owe you money. They stole from you, my dear or sir. Someone's going to be crying here or someone is crying. They want you to be crying. This was the blind leading the blind. So there was someone that they were working with to help them. They didn't do this all on their own. For all intents and purposes, good things come to those who wait. They did something impatiently. They had some help doing this. They didn't act alone. I mean, with all this shit that this person's got going on, um, you know, they had other people in on this too. Even corrupt law officials, you know, they could have family, friends, and the law officials, you know, that helped gaslight you, make you seem like something was just, it was all in your head, that you're just going crazy. <clears throat> Someone's jumping into something with both feet here, um, and life's a bitch, okay? So somebody was dedicated to doing this, because their life's about to be a bitch. They're putting on a dog and pony show, but they're dedicated. They're going to ride this shit out until there's a permanent ending put to this, okay? They tried to set you up. They were watching you to try to set you up. Better mousetrap and eagle eye. They, you were targeted. Okay, so Sagittarius energy here. Um, you know, my Sagittarius card here on these, um, there's a target on there, and it has the Sagittarius symbol, and that's what I'm getting with that eagle eye, with that target here. So Sagittarius could be significant. Um, somebody was setting you up for the trap. <clears throat> You have the luck of the Irish. You have luck on your side. Someone didn't want you to be happy. Um, this person's going to be miserable. They wanted you to have to eat your words. So if you said you're a healer, I'm an earth angel, whatever you advertise about yourself, even if you don't advertise it to the public, if you mention this shit to this person, they were like, oh, hell no. I'm going to make sure they can't heal from this. I'm going to make sure they can't recover from this. They have an axe to grind because they're not the stuff dreams are made out of. And you are. People think you're cute. People like you. The law's getting down. Lay down the law. The law is getting involved in this because something is not cute anymore. Okay, somebody thought something is cute. There's a law official that may think you're cute, okay? And they're finding out about all this shit. They may be the one who's watching your sweet, bootyful ass, okay? I'm just saying. There could be an official person here. Somehow there's someone that's related to the law that thinks you're cute as a button. And they could be the one that's admiring your sweet booty. And they see you as the wish fulfillment. So if this past mofo was trying to set you up, make you look crazy. Um, if they had their law official buddies spying on you, watching you. Well, these motherfuckers, um, they like you. <laughs> and now someone hitting the panic button. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. That was not supposed to happen. <laughs> There's something significant about a winter time. So this winter, somebody could be hitting the panic button. There was something significant about a Sunday. That could be Sunday in the winter time or Sunday in March. Or March could be significant here. So March could be somebody's birthday. It could be Aries Pisces. Um, or that could have been when something significant happened. This came out sideways as well. So someone's hitting the panic button because you're moving forward. They didn't want you to be able to make the best out of a bad situation because... They wouldn't be able to do what you can do. And that strikes an air of jealousy within this person. <sighs> Absence makes the heart grow fonder. So they want you to be thinking about them, reminiscing about them. So someone from the past could be showing back up, um, acting like they're your long lost love. Don't you remember we have this connection, baby? We were supposed to be together forever. Time is of the essence for something. You are two peas in a pod with somebody else, your match, your divine counterpart, but it's not this mofo, okay?
Yeah. Someone knows the truth. Someone was trying to stop someone from speaking out about the truth, but somebody knows the truth. That could be someone who's admiring you. Alright, person, place, or thing could be significant. The letter M. Mama Mia, here I go again. Mama B, how can I resist you? Milton Bradley, board games could be significant. U. D. Bud. Buddy. Someone wants to be your buddy. H. No, or Bud could be significant. Just, I mean, the substance. <laughs> you know, Mary Jane. P. So HP. Um, was that Hewlett Packard? A laptop could be significant. Uh, v. Someone thinks you're an MVP. Most valuable player. A. Hmm. Someone may be eating a ham sandwich or ham could be significant. Someone could be trying to pork you up. So pigs could be significant. Porky, ham, bacon. Oh, I love me some bacon. D. I. I feel like there's a video of something. There's some, some video of something in A. I'm getting repeat letters, so I'm going to stop pulling. So I have A J M A. B-U-G-V-P-I-N-D, okay? I hope this helps. Have a good day.